Welcome back. We are here looking at the energy market and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, April 13, 2022. If you like the support channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos and let's get to it. So we'll start by looking at WTI oil and this was a really good day for WTI oil. We are up at 6.7, yeah, 6.82% at this current stage. But as you can see, we are basically just getting into this wedge. Um, if we get rejected here and in this upper trend line, uh, then it's more likely that we'll fall back down towards $93. If we break above here, then it's very likely that we'll go to 110, 116, and then to the very basically all time high. So there are reasons why we had this big fall of course this market got significantly overbought and usually that tends to fall back towards the bottom of the bullish band then there was the coordinated uh, release of uh, of uh, oil reserves that also got this market spooked and uh, it fell then there's a uh, inflation um, problem that monetary policy is going to change and the economy is going to slow down but today it was the news was that that uh, OPEC was expecting uh, or basically going to um, not there's going to be a tight supply was their wording and of course that of course spooked the market really as it was nearly oversold when you got into this area here so the market rallied it is hanging it's basically getting resistant here at uh, 50 moving average but if we have a close above the 50 and a close above this trend line then it's uh, then it's looking really bullish that this market is going to rally if we break below here and then watch out below that is basically uh, uh invitation for 90 and probably the 200 moving average here at 81. if we look at technical ind indicators they do favor the upside at this current stage as they were um have been falling for quite some time and you can see the macd is turning around has not crossed the signal line but looks like it is about to turn around and cross it stochastic is turning around quite aggressively and so is the rsi so so is to be seen um whether or not we break above here or break below uh, this support line so if we look at natural gas because it's about probably the market that's more has been extremely bullish and uh, really painful to it to trade uh, recently because you expected it here to pull back as we have a shooting star and uh, you expected it here and you kind of expected it there but it found a way to basically uh, continue rallying but now we have this very bearish candlestick today we got all the way up towards uh, roughly seven dollars it fell back down towards 6.6 .6 and then landed at 6.7. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that Mac, uh, the RSI is uh, significantly overbought at this point. We are approaching 80. We are at 78 at this current stage. Stochastic is crossing the signal line in the bullish territory. And MACD, of course, is a uh, more lagging indicator. It is still very bullish. But this candlestick here, uh, um, compare and, and plus both the stochastic and the RSI, overbought RSI, that could be an indication that this is as far as we go at this point. It doesn't mean that it will completely collapse like we saw here and so on. Usually when it gets this overbought and overstretched, it does fall towards the very bottom of the Bullinger band, which at this point should be 4.5. 4 we are in the, the period of the year where demand usually falls off a cliff and uh, and prices don't really rally this time of year but we have seen this rally we're getting a very negative candlestick here and we're overbought so i will be very excited to see whether or not we manage to take out roughly 6.2 if that happens then we could drop towards the middle of the bullish band which is at 5.6 and also the previous highs here and then after that 50 moving average 4.9 and 200 moving average and then the bottom which is 4.5 and this probably is far as this will go is the 200 moving average because that's where we have found support in the past so hope you find this helpful you're going to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and good luck and thank you very much